Hello guys, how are you all? So today topic is very important and whenever you go for work or whenever you go for interview, anybody can ask you this question that which one is the suction line, which one is the discharge line when you are on working time, okay? When you are new joining, that time also anybody can ask you which one is the suction line, which one is the discharge line. So our topic today is why in compressor suction line diameter is bigger than discharge line. So you can understand the one that is bigger in the diameter that one is the suction line and the one that is small in the diameter that one is the discharge line okay guys so always for example this is the compressor and if this is the suction suction line so its diameter its diameter always bigger than the discharge line okay so always suction line diameter is bigger than the discharge line in the compressor so what is the reason for that okay guys so i explain you the reason now so both you guys already know that in the suction line the vapor pressure is low but in the discharge line the vapor pressure is high okay so always we always remind one formula what is that that is pressure equal to force divided by area so what is this the pressure and area is inversely proportional pressure and area is inversely proportional so if the pressure increase the area will be decrease and if the pressure decrease the area will be increase this formula you have to always remember why because when the refrigerant is in the low pressure vapor form so that time its density is low so when the density of the vapor is low and the pressure also no low so that time area is supposed to be bigger so for protect the compressor because you guys already know that compressor is made only to compress the vapor refrigerant if any liquid form of refrigerant will go inside the compressor compressor will be damaged completely damaged so that's why on the suction line the pressure of the refrigerant of the vapor refrigerant is very low in compared to the discharge line so that's reason because when the pressure is low area is high so here our pressure is low that's why the area of the pipe is higher that's why the diameter of the pipe is higher because the density of the refrigerant here is low so opposite same opposite on the other side on the discharge line the refrigerant form is the high pressure high temperature vapor refrigerant so when the pressure is high so that time area is low so here when the pressure is high so the area is low that's why here the diameter of the diameter of the discharge line is lower in compared to the suction line so here density of the refrigerant also high in the discharge line okay guys so this one you have to always remember density always low in suction and density always high in discharge so i hope you guys understand the density density means like the solidity 
how solid is the substance how the molecules is closer the solidity density the another name is solidity okay so always on the suction line the the refrigerant and the low pressure vapor so the vapor is like is take area this low pressure vapor that's why here density is low here the pressure is high so is compressed by the compressor and the discharge of pressure is high so the density of the refrigerant is higher in compared to the suction line so here density is low and pressure is low that's why area is high here density is high pressure is high that's why area is low so guys i hope you guys understand always in the compressor our suction line diameter is bigger in compared to the discharge line so you guys can easily identify when you are at job when you are at work that which one is the suction line of the compressor which one is the discharge line of the compressor this is very important okay guys so always remember this suction line diameter i repeat this because this is very important and very common thing and this thing you have to know because this things will help you too much when you will work with the compressors so always suction line diameter is bigger than the discharge line okay guys i hope you guys understand this very nicely and very well thank you so much